stop. Kitty, please stop. Hey. I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So today we're going to get to the second part of Ether 1. Last time we played, we walked around getting to know the game a little bit, read a bunch of notes, not exactly sure how to put it all together yet because I don't know much about the game so far, but we did get through the first memory. We don't know who the memory was about yet. Um, all we do know is that it's this woman who has dementia, and every time we find one of her memories and, like, fix the memory, it helps with her dementia and will eventually cure her. But we're not exactly sure whether she wants to be cured or if she doesn't want to be cured because the memories are fighting back and it's all just very complicated. Let's just get on to the second part. Restora, can you hear me? Ah, oh, there you are. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. Their core memories. Uh, so now what? Click on the map to travel to Pinwheel Harbor. Is that where we just were? I don't know. Where am I supposed to go now? Um. Where am I now? <gasps> I'm in a new place. All right, all right. I can do this. What's in here? Oh yeah, I forgot I can't open things in this game. Uh, nothing. Okay... Where are we, though? Is this, like, her house? Or her old house? Or... Who are we even, like, whose mind are we inside? I don't know nothing. At all. I know... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Also, more talk about this crap. I turned up the texture detail. Can I click on any of this stuff? No. I turned up the texture detail because my brother complained about it and he goes, are those the real graphics? And it didn't really sound like that. And I was like, no, you know that I had technical difficulties and I had to turn down the graphics. Um, and he didn't want to watch it anymore because he's 12. I uh, turned up the graphics a teeny little bit. Didn't really change much, but uh, deal with it. That was to my brother, not to you guys. Pinwheel. Right. Let's try to make sense of all of this. Explore whatever you can, and I'll keep in contact with any new information. Done. Okay, so we were in a little house. It's got a bike outside, which means a, a kid could be involved. Or a person who just rides little bikes like that. A creepy person. Um, it's on a harbor. Pinwheel May Day Festival. 1st of May, Town Square, music and celebration starts at 12 p.m. So maybe it's May. Huh. You found one. A memory fragment. Good work. A ribbon. This must be Jean's representation of them within her mind. Okay. What's the ribbons case? Interesting. Her memory fragments are in the form of ribbons. I'm going to store them here for you from now on. Right. Let's try to make some sense out of all of this. So I don't actually get to see what the memory is, it's just a ribbon? Ugh. Give me nothing. What does this say? Herbs and spices go here. Cool! What's next? Wait, let's check over here first. I think they go to the same place. Oh, 
Okay, guys, if you see a ribbon, let me know. I'm gonna start having, like, interactive videos. Found one! This isn't so hard. I must say, I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. I know. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding and, well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope. And it's very important that I... Sorry, we succeed. This woman is obviously using me. And I don't like her at all. I feel like she's gonna be the enemy at the end of the game or something. Okay, so, th I don't know whose house we're in, but there's somebody here who's sick, obviously, because there's one of those, uh, hospital things. Don't know what they're called. And I think this game was set in a earlier date, because we got some crappy-ass TV. Wait, didn't they already say that, though? I forget the date. What is that? Nothing. Okay. I found this letter this morning whilst I was sorting through all of your old things. I'd completely forgotten that we had done this all those years ago. I don't know why I'm writing this. You're gone now, and I have to accept that. I have to. I'm 89, and I can barely write properly. I am no use to anyone without you. Everything here has changed. No matter what happens, I will never forget your radiant face, and even though part of the school was built over where we buried the capsule, I still remember the code. Your birthday, of course. 0911. I miss you so much. Does it annoy you guys that I just said 0911 instead of zero? Oh no. Oh no, nothing. What? Who the heck was that? Is this. Is Jean. I think. Okay, we're in Jean's mind. Um, this must be Jean's house when she gets old? Or her grandma's house? I don't know. Um, a bed without a mattress. Okay. Oops. Hold on. A lover's note number one. My love, I want us to do something together that can last forever. Something that someone in the future can find one day and understand the feelings that we have for one another. I'm fed up of all the normal stuff and that people do when they date. I feel like we are different, that our love is deeper than the rest in some way. Something important. I thought we could create a time capsule of all the things that we hold dear for one another, from letters to treasured items, bury it somewhere special, somewhere that will remain safe for hundreds of years to come. What do you think? Right back, Tom. Oh, Jean and Tom, I think. This must be her boyfriend? or something, and they want to make a time capsule. Um, oh, she has a cane! Wait, this is definitely a guest room. Who stayed in here? I don't know. Um, hmm. My dear Tom, of course I shall help you with your time capsule. It's wonderful and romantic and exciting. I also feel that the love that we have is different to all the other couples, their arguments and squabbles, showing that we must have something unique. I have never felt this way about anyone else in the world, and I wish we could be with each other all of the time. Do you want to meet me this evening by the old oak tree, down from the church and near the edge of the cliff? It will be a perfect place to bury the capsule. Bring the things you want to put in it, and a box to use. Love with all my heart, your Juniper Berry. Who the hell is Juniper Berry? A mystery that I will find out. Whoa. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. Who was that? I didn't know they had telephones. I For some reason I thought this was like way earlier than telephones. 
I mean, why are they, like, writing on notes to each other? The world may never know. You know, I am sorry about before. The relapse and all. Just remember, it's incredibly important that we trust each other. Don't worry too much about her brain. I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. I don't- I still don't like that woman. I don't trust her. I want to know, like, who she is. Is she just, like, a doctor? Or is she related to Jean somehow? Is she Jean's enemy trying to get, like, information? I don't know. Okay, there's a tricycle. Ten people. A small wedding. But moving country means making a new life and new friends. Every town has its own May Day celebration, but many people traveled from around the British Isles for the annual Pinwheel Maypole Morris Dancing Competition. Such a beautiful English tradition, and a rare thing these days. Is that a note? What is that? What are you? I don't know. A card? I don't know why I would be going into all these random houses in the town. What have all these other people have to do with the main character? Eh. Don't place sugar in the fridge. I'ma do it anyway. Where's the fridge? Don't fucks with me. Hold on. I can put my name here. Why? Morris dancing, glass looking entertainment. Wait. What the heck? I don't know. It won't let me go up and down. I don't know. I can't put my name because it won't let me do anything, so... Sorry, guys! Jesus, place is trash. Oh, and there's our memory thing that we need to fix. Our projector. Um... Cradle. The Grumpy Knocker. Is that shoots and ladders? We got a closet with some toys, and nothing interesting that I need, I don't think. Hmm. Okay. So I gotta find the rest of the memories and then come back into this house, I think, for the projector. Mom, do you know where my Mayday... What does that say? Equipment is? I can't find it anywhere. I always forget the actual names of the Mayday stuff. It's so old sounding. Uh... Hettle? Hettle? Here? Hi? What the heck does that say? Hettle? Is the stuff I need? Het... He... Oh. Here is the stuff I need. One hat, two bells, one stick. I think that's it. Thanks. Okay. Um, sure. Discuss the benefits with your local- Why are there ether posters in here? What in the hell? Wait, no. One hat, two bells, one stick. I need to find a, a bell. That's what I need to do. Somewhere around this town. This here town? Oh, look at the moon! It's so big! Or is it Friday? What does that mean? There's way too many houses in this place. A 
crow with an injured wing just lying there on the beach. And there's another projector. I imagine this was almost a second home to most of the fishermen who lived here. There was a strong reading when you walked in. There's a story to be told here. I think you better keep looking. I think there's a strong story to be told in all of these houses. Yeah. Um, supposed to be a story here, but I mean... What, am I supposed to figure out the story in every house? Because that is just too much work. Oops. Hey, thanks for locking up for me tonight. Don't forget to leave the key in the safe so that I can get into my room when I return. Combination 1513. Wait, so I gotta remember 9100. No, 0911. <laughs> I can't do this. Hold on. And, uh, one, five, one, three. All right. There's a bell. Okay. Where's that safe? Is it down here? Did I ever tell you about an odd colleague of mine? who experimented with brain cell transplants, taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another. An attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. Uh, I really don't care, honestly. Uh... If you feel lost, or don't know where to go. Remember, you can go back to the case and check the map. Okay. There's one! Maybe what I need to do is find all the ribbons first before I start putting stuff together. That would be a good idea, huh, Katie? Another one. You're really doing a very good job, Restorer. I know. Although I should mention, the board are going to be monitoring our progress tonight. So failure to retrieve the artifact is simply not an option. It glistened in the shop window. A music box with the most beautiful decoration. There's so many projectors! A great man once worked here. Part philosopher, part engineer. His radical new ideas changed the course of history forever. Let's find out what this has to do with anything. Okay. Failures. More damn failures plague my work. Equipment has been breaking all of the time, forcing me to buy in bulk, or to search out expensive and specific parts. The Hemingways, who run the post office, must think that I am creating Frankenstein. Sometimes I wonder if I am, especially with so many failed attempts. It's like God is stopping me in my tracks, preventing me to, from creating this wondrous machine for some unfathomable reason. How can more conversation and contact be a bad thing? A. Bell. I don't know who that is. I don't know who any of these people are. Excuse me if I start to get frustrated. All these doors are locked! <sighs> Alright. On to the next, uh, on to the next one, on to the next one. Where, how many, how many ribbons do I need? Let's see. Three more. And then maybe something will happen. Maybe something will happen. Maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe I should shut up. How come you're not leaving footprints in the snow? This Jean bitch has no idea what she's talking about. Footprints? It's sand. It's summertime. She's nuts. Give me a- ah! Yes. Train tracks that Please lead to the water. Please remain focused in their restorer. 
I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on uh -oh. you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times before, and I won't stand for it again. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No, I want you to inject it now. I don't care. They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. <sighs> Sorry about that. I need to go and sort out an incompetent individual, as per usual. I'll be back shortly. I don't like her. I don't know how I can express that enough. I don't know who she's talking about injecting what. I don't know. What are you, a rock? Can I swim? Am I swimming? <gasps> I'm swimming. Okay, bye. What? See, folks, that is why I don't like water. Sketchy shit happens in water. I am not kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't happening again. I can tell you. The mind can be like a blank canvas, or a picture can be left incomplete for a generation, only to be finished years later in life. What is this? The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time, but with industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work. But apparently he became a recluse after the industrial decline and destroyed all of his work. I'm so smart. Fanati's tools are kept sharpened. Any memory can be etched in stone. I don't know what the point of that was, but I did something. Ooh, maybe turn this on? Hell yeah! Progress without even trying. What are you used for? I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, let's go upstairs. Got someone's bedroom. Dear Aaron, my sleepless nights have now almost stopped. The rolling sound of the buoys out at sea helped me drift off every night and Poppy sleeps soundly at the foot of my bed next to my tools. It's been difficult to continue blacksmithing. In the same capacity as an old man, there are so many repairs that I need to do for the locals that I am just not quick enough to do it in time. Anyway, those Wainwright kids have been playing around the furnace again. They come down to watch the toy boat races on the river, but like to take excur excursions into my workshop. I know your neighbors with their parents, so could you ask them to have a word with their children for me? I just don't have the energy to chase them anymore. I'll do that, but there's nobody here. Damage floor. Dear Mr. Bell, although I'm grateful for the extra income, I'm slightly worried about the damage you've done to my floor whilst putting your cables under my workshop. The floor looks very weak, and I'm nervous every time I have to carry something heavy over it. Anyway, I've made the repair cable you asked for. It's only temporary fix, but it should do the job. We'll talk about the floor again soon. So something's up with the floor? Should I be looking? What is this? I don't know. But... I'll f try and figure it out. Okay, let's try and find the next ribbon. Wherever that may be. There's two more. And I feel like I've been everywhere. There's a lot of talk about safes in this game too, and I have two codes, and I don't even know what those are for. Because I haven't seen a safe at all yet. So, I don't know what the heck to do. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Do you remember? Who are you talking to? Do you remember? No, bitch. I don't. 
I have to stop being so mean. I'm a very nice girl normally. But you know, when Katie gets frustrated, this is what happens. What is down here? Another memory. Come on, come on. Yes! Finally! Aw, little toy boat races. Alright, we need one more. Hello, Dr. Edmund speaking. No, everything is coming along as expected. He's showing some good progress. I know, but... Yes, I understand. I'll send the results as soon as possible. That was observations. The board are expecting results soon. We simply can't miss this deadline. There should only be one more memory fragment in this area that we need to find. Please don't let me down like the others did. I'm trying. Was I in here already? Hold on, I'm just gonna check upstairs. Did I- The tone, the rhythm, just listening to that melody would never get old. I missed a house. That's why. Inspiration. Stood in the center of the market, I can hear the potential for my new communication system. Imagine long-distance conversations bringing everyone closer together, family, friends, and business. So phones weren't invented yet. We all love to talk, to discuss ideas, and to hear loved ones' voices. Stood in the center of the market, I hear conversations. Susan Cher Shorox talks to Jan Hemingway about Matthew Lewis and his charming manners with the ladies. Dr. E. Oster... No. <laughs> oh, it's Foster. It looks... Anyway. Dr. Foster commandeers in his doctoral manner to Howard Peterson that his age he should that at his age he should really quit smoking. George Thornton tells his daughter Jean that if she is good today he will buy her some sweets from the market. Conversation is king here and everyone wait and everywhere and if my system can work then it can be king in the home connecting us all together. A Bell. You're so smart, A Bell. You really are. Okay. What does that say? 0427, another freaking code! Remember, Restorer, I will not let you project back to the real world until our goal is reached. Don't worry about what's happening on my end. I'll make sure you're safe. As long as you help me. I'll help you, and we'll get through this in one piece. Now, when you're ready, come back to the case and let's access the first core memory of this evening. Okay, Restorer. It's time to venture into our first core memory. I can't contact you when you're inside, so good luck. When you're ready, activate the music box and step through the doorway. Okay guys, I really don't want to cut it off right there, um, but I've already been playing for so long and it's going to take me a while to edit it, and I know nobody wants to watch a freaking hour-long video of me walking around the stupid place, so um, I will end it here and we will find out what happens in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!